I'm going to show you how to set up the robot vacuum PUCRC AM75 and do the firmware update on it. So step one is flip on the on switch, hardware on switch, this is important. So you actually want to leave it on the charger for about an hour or so before doing anything. Once you have an hour charge, you need to pull the unit away from the charger and bring it close to your wireless router for setup. And go and check that it's powering up by hitting the auto button. Go to the Wi-Fi settings. Scroll down to find the AP network of the device. Even if the hard switch is flipped to the off position, you will still see AP networks for the devices that are powered off. Select the unit, type in the password, which is 8 8 so 8 8, eight, 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 eight. Click connect, and see that your network is connected. Go back to the KV8 app, and select the top right hand corner for adding a new device. Click to search in the WAN. Give it about a minute. Select the device ID that shows up. Here again, we're going to enter the password 88s. And then click the top right hand corner to save. Unit will reconnect it. Click on the image, the preview image, to see the robot camera show up. And test that it is connected by tapping on the arrows. The robot should move. Next is to connect it to the wireless router in your home network. Go back to the device selection screen and on the right hand side you'll see an arrow. Tap on the arrow and this will bring up the device settings. Next click on modify device network mode and click the option to select your home Wi-Fi network. You're now going to type in the password for your home wireless router. It will be case sensitive and check for accuracy. On the top right, click save and you'll see the notification switching network. You're going to wait about a minute for this to complete. Once it says success, click confirm and your Android should automatically switch back to the Wi-Fi network instead of the AP mode of the device. Go back to the KV8 app and double check that your device appears as connected. That it responds to the controls. So as of now everything will work for your robot other than the scheduling function. For that we're going to have to do the firmware update. A pop-up will appear in the app informing you about the update. Once you click the app will actually lock down for an entire 10 minutes until the update is complete. Before starting be sure that the power is switched on, that the device is away from the charger, and that it responds to the auto button. Click update, and do not switch off the phone. It's okay if the phone goes into sleep mode. Also don't touch the robot, or switch off the device power. We're going to come back in about 10 minutes to check on this. So I came back to check the app after 10 minutes, I put a timer, and the notification that the firmware update was in progress disappeared. We still see that the robot is connected. Uh, let's just double check if it's still working. Here we see the real-time video. So app is responding. And let's check the version. About equipment. Firmware version now reads 0427. We have successfully updated the firmware.